it's not uncommon that people will run into the store, see a pig in a formaldehyde or something to that effect, and then uh, run out the door. It started off as a uh, thrift store with a couple of odd items, and since then it's evolved into a thrift store with a lot of odd items. We had an armadillo basket, first made out of a frog. We have an articulated penguin. It's actually one of my favorite things. And we have a lioness, very pretty. <laughs> accumulated a pretty thick book for people who were having us look for specific unusual items. Patent attorneys, doctors who wanted antique medical devices, uh, antique surgical equipment, that sort of thing. These are some antique devices. This one is not surgical. This is used by a mortician. This is called a trocar. And this would access the, uh, you know, down, in, down into your arteries and then uh, your carotid artery. And then the blood would pump out while embalming fluid is put into the decedent. Over here is a treatment for mental illness. It's a shock therapy device. And you would charge up the dry cell battery. It's probably about 1910. And you'd place it on your temples and they'd deliver you an electric shock. My current favorite is a human skull, roughly about 250 years old and uh, the cooling table is obviously a favorite. I came by it through an estate in Vermont. Psychics that have been in here have put their hands on the mortuary table and they said, well, they get energy from it, but just a sense of peace, which would make sense because they were all dead. Kind of got your fangs a little bit. And then, of course, Wilbur, the pig in the jar, I'm also very fond of. Unlike a lot of the items, uh, the animal samples are something I can reorder, and we can't keep them in stock. Everybody seems to like pigs in a jar. If it's something that makes me want to pick it up and know more about it, it's something that we have to have for the store. I know my customers will love it.